it is important to wear that sunscreen. Even if it is cloudy, you can still get a burn. Mm -hmm. Okay? Absolutely. All right, we want you and your kids to stay safe and cool this summer. So we do have some tips from Nampa Fire to help us out. Here's the first one. Eat your water. Yep, that what? sounds weird, but you know, sometimes it's hard to remember to drink water, especially for our little ones. So why not eat it? Have snacks that are filled with water, like mm. watermelon, which is delicious, cucumbers, tomatoes, popsicles work as well. If you do the all fruit ones with less sugar, that's a good idea as well. Gotcha. Okay, I get that now. Yeah. Yeah. Also, they say get your clothes wet. Wet clothes can release heat from the body just like when you sweat. This is pretty simple. Bring out the sprinkler or the hose. Create your own water park in your own backyard. You don't need a fire hose like these guys right here. <laughs> Another way to release the heat from your body just to sweat it out. So create activities that get you and your kids moving. But not too much because you don't want to have heat exhaustion, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. And after all that moving around, you may want to chill out, get some ice cream. We do that a lot at my house, but that may actually hurt more than it will help because of all the sugar mm. and the milk mm. in that ice cream. That can actually take energy to break down in your body causing you to heat up more. So stay in the shade when you eat your ice cream. That's my solution. <laughs> there you go. That's the opposite of what you want, right? You don't want to heat up, so be careful with that. Or just go inside. You can also take the cold directly to the places on your body that are more likely to overheat, like your wrists, neck, insides of your elbows and your knees, your pulse points, inner thighs, and your temples as well. Get an ice pack or just a piece of ice with a towel wrapped around it or something like that, a washcloth, and put it right on those spots. That always feels good. And mm -hmm. I'll also remember to take your hats off every once in a while. Yes, it is important to have a hat on when you're in the sun, but sometimes that hat can hold in heat mm -hmm. and you get a sweaty head. You know how your hair gets all sweaty? Yep. So Take that hat off when you're in the shade or in the house. Take the cap off, let your head cool off a bit, put some ice on there. And to run through those again, let's uh, go through the checklist. Eat your water, watermelon, wonderful idea. Create a cool zone, get your clothes wet. You can ice down your hot zones, like on your neck and wrist. Get your feet wet, also make them sweat. That's the way your body naturally cools off. Do not scream for ice cream or just eat it inside and have your hat on in the sun, but then take it off when you're in the shade. Kids are not going to like that comment about <laughs> the ice cream. All right, just eat it inside in the AC. And if you need more reminders, you can always check out Nampa Idaho Fire Department on Facebook for a recap of all these wonderful tips. I also shared their post on my Facebook page if you want to see it there. Coming up.